Hello everyone and welcome to the coffee vlog. So we are here. We didn't vlog any of the travelling because it was a very, very long day yesterday. Um, and we got here very late so it wasn't really anything we could show you anyway apart from like the room like seeing the room for the first time and i did actually film that so i'll put that in in a bit but we are here if you cannot tell i am very very tired so yesterday was a very very long day we got up what time did i get up eight eight and that because it was when you were getting the car so we're going to backtrack a bit if you are new to the channel i have just had my graduation also if you are new at the channel my camera is rubbish and i do apologize i'm saving up for a new vlogging camera but i can't afford one right now so anyway back we'll go back to talking about graduation so i've just had my graduation this week has been very very busy i graduated on thursday yes. um and that is also not where I live so we had to travel down to York on Wednesday I had my graduation Thursday we traveled back to Northumberland which is where we live on Friday went to see Doctor Strange tried to book another holiday weren't successful didn't get home because we went straight to the cinema from coming up from York because we were meeting my sister to see Doctor Strange on the day it came out uh, then we didn't get back home till half it so then we had to pack very quickly because we had to leave at nine the next morning to get down to manchester to be able to come to corfu so it's been a busy week i'm very very tired so the travel it was a long day we had i got up at eight we had to leave by nine to get to manchester by one for a five o'clock flight because of all of the issues with the queuing and stuff at Manchester Airport at the minute. I'm sure you guys have seen it in the news where there are just huge, huge, huge queues because there are staff shortages at the airports at the minute, which obviously nothing can be done about it. So we gave, how long was it? Four hours. We gave four hours. We got there for one-ish and our flight was five, but the gate was meant to close at half four. So we gave like four and a half hours, but we had to drive down, which takes three and a half hours and we have an electric car so we had a faff with the car because we had to charge the car overnight somewhere after our york trip because we'd use all of the charge for the york trip and then the cinema didn't have a charging port so we had to leave the car somewhere overnight between coming home and then leaving to manchester so then jack had to get up even earlier to go get the car to do the drive to manchester so anyway we left at like half nine and it was an alright journey, it's just it's a brutal journey when you're tired already. We kept swapping driving because also I'm not in the new car, if you're a subscriber, I'm not doing great with the new car for sensory issues. But it was an alright drive, we got, we got to the airport at 1 and we got through security in half an hour. Mm. Like it was fine, like it was, it was fine. And we were talking, if you are looking to fly from Manchester soon and you're worried about queues, we were talking to one of the air, I don't think she was an air she was just, she was steward. Yeah, she was just helping the flights and stuff. She was saying that it tends to be in the morning where the queues get bad, where if you come in from like midday onwards, you're actually okay for queues. Obviously, give enough time anyway. Don't take my word for it, but that's just what the Jetu lady was saying. So we got through in half an hour, so then we were like, right, we're gonna have to sit here for ages which was fine we we're like we'll go get some food we'll chill we'll sort some stuff out on the ipad because i needed to download stuff to watch on the plane because i'm not good with flying and then the airport was so rammed there was a queue of what 20 people to get into any of the restaurants so then we went and just sat at like a cafe like we went and went up across and sat there and we couldn't get signal and we couldn't get wi-fi and that was how it was for pretty much the entire thing. So we had to sit without any internet and nothing to do for about three hours. We were trying to get the Wi-Fi working three hours because we paid for Wi-Fi and it still wouldn't work. And then the flight was delayed. <laughs> so it was a long day. The flight was delayed. We finally got on the flight. Somebody got, two people got kicked off the plane because they were threatening the staff. So then we had to wait for them to like disembark and then they had to find their luggage. Well, the the steward, stewards had to find their luggage so we didn't get off the like we didn't get moving for ages and then the flight was actually all right until near the end and there was a lot of turbulence so 
it was a long day we landed and then we had to, how long do you reckon the taxi took 20 half, minutes 20 minutes half an hour but it was scary like the roads in Corfu are scary enough if you've been here you'll probably know they are very very tight corners there are very there are loads and loads of hills and at night it's scary because you think you're getting like just took down a narrow path kind of thing but he kept the taxi driver was lovely bless him he kept just being like we are going the correct way please don't be scared because <laughs> i think he knew what kind of vibes it was giving off to get to this hotel so we got here at 1 a.m their time uh so that would have been like 11 o'clock england time or uk whatever so yeah we didn't get to bed till like two here and then we were up at nine because we had to go for breakfast we didn't know what breakfast time was served till so then yeah you're up to date it's a very long intro but it, it like because i didn't vlog yesterday i thought i'd fill you in so i'm freaking tired i am tired but we are here we are at Corfu. if you are wanting to see more of the hotel the hotel sure should have went up before this so i'll leave the link above i tend to do that just so I can show you guys the hotel in the vlog without having to be like this is what this is this is what this is so go watch that the hotel is incredible it is very very beautiful we've been for breakfast and we had a walk around after breakfast so we have seen it it is it is beautiful so yeah if you so basically right what happened with this if you aren't a subscriber what happened with this holiday was how can I set you up here? I can't really, can I? I haven't brought my tripod. Um, we were looking on Voyage Privé, which if you don't know it, is a, it's like a travel club, but you only have to sign up to get onto the travel club. And they have discounts with hotels and stuff, and we saw this hotel and fell in love with it. And we were like, we can either go for our anniversary, which is in July, or we can just go whenever it's cheapest. And we went for whenever it's cheapest, which is now. So we are here for three days, three nights, including the night that we just had. Uh, and mainly I'm here to do, well, I, I say I. Jack is here, by the way. I can't get him. Yeah. Um, I say I because obviously Jack doesn't do this kind of job. But we're mainly here to shoot content because my Lanzarote video from last year did really really well and I really really love doing travel content so we're like yeah let's just go and do loads of content so I've started a separate Instagram and I'm going to start doing travel content on that Instagram and then obviously doing this because I absolutely love it but we don't think we're going to do any content today because I am freaking knackered are you finally feeling tired now? yeah Jack was fine when he woke up but you're yeah he's a bit knackered now so we're gonna start doing that tomorrow we think because we're gonna mainly stay in the hotel because the hotel is absolutely beautiful and we are quite away from anything like if we want to go back to Corfu if we want to go into Corfu town it would be like no, yeah um and we've already been to Corfu before once so we've been to Corfu town and stuff like that so we're just gonna stay in the hotel and I think today the plan is to just go chill by the pool the this is our we're on the balcony by the way this is a view from the balcony so we've just been chilling here for a bit after breakfast and the weather is warm it's not like boiling I think it's like 22 degrees or something like that and the sun keeps coming out here and there so I think we're just gonna go chill by the pool and I reckon I'm gonna fall asleep. I'm probably gonna read. I don't know what you're gonna do. Read? I'm just so knackered. I don't feel like we can do anything else. So, are we gonna go now? Yeah? We. I need to sort of bag out because I haven't bought a big like beach bag thing. I only brought a little, where is it? The light in for vlogging in here is gonna be interesting. I've only brought this, so I need to pack this with the stuff that we need i know as well right i just need to say this i know that some people are probably going to be watching this being like what do you mean you are there for content when you don't have that many subscribers not many followers and stuff but you know what i want them i want to be able to do this as a job so i'm trying and i hope no one's judging me for it so you know, I'm just here trying to make 
good content for people and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking because I've been talking for 10 minutes. We're gonna go down to the pool and relax. We are down by the pool. I'm just gonna have to hope you can see me because again, I can't see you. It's gonna be difficult to show you around because obviously I'm doing so we're doing it the same format as we did in Lanzarote where we're filming the hotel tour the last day but then you'll have seen that first so it's going to be difficult I'm just thinking about it now it's going to be very difficult to show you guys around because there are children everywhere and um, there are a lot of kids in this hotel uh but anyway we are down by the pool I think I can show you now I don't think there's any children in the pool got this view which is delightful um the sea is like on a red flag so nobody's down at the beach so maybe if the beach changes to being able to go in the sea this would get quieter um but there is an adults pool up there but because we came down quite late there isn't any room but we prefer being in an adults pool but we have a drink uh jack got a fancy cocktail show off your cocktail can it can you see can't see the screen yeah, I think you could see it. Um, and I think we're just going to read and chill. Yeah, Jack lost his sunglasses. Uh, we don't know where they've gone. And this is the second holiday in a row <laughs> that this has happened. Could put the the body up. Yeah. See if that helps you. Oh, I'm completely in the shade now. Put it all the way up. Probably have to get get up. Oh no! Oh my god, no way. You just paid £10 for that cocktail and then you spilled it everywhere. Yeah. Oh, babe. Okay, it's been a while. What time was that vlog? What time did we come down here? I don't know. It's been a few hours. Um, uh, we've read, we've played cards, I have slept because I am freaking tired, but I needed it, it made me feel better. I only slept, how long do you reckon I slept for? Because I didn't realise I'd slept. Yeah, 20 minutes, half an hour. So, we have ordered some food, we are staying half bored, and we thought that would be fine because when we did Lanzarote last year, we were all inclusive, but we weren't having lunch because we were so full at lunch, still from breakfast. But, I, th I don't know. I don't know what's happened this time. I'm hungry. I'm gonna blame the traveling. I'm not gonna lie. So we have got food. There's how many? There's loads of different places you can order from, isn't there? I think there's only a couple that are open all the time. Yeah. Uh huh. So. Because there's like in room dining, dining and stuff like that. You don't want to oh, like room service. Right. Well, I there was loads of options. We went for pizza because we went for something that we could share. Jack is doing his. Uh, he's vegetarian when we travel. Thing because otherwise it's very 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 difficult and um, so we got pizza look at this isn't this delightful look how much cheese is on there Jack's trying to get a spider off his book uh, do you want to say hello I don't think you've been on yet uh -huh. are you too stressed I'm trying to get the just... say hello hello <laughs> this is the pizza we um one thing that we didn't think about when we went off board is paying for water water is very very expensive here unfortunately so we just bought a big bottle of water as well uh, after jack <laughs> spilt his cocktail before in he was able to get another one but the water is very expensive so we're just waiting on some water and we're eating some food i'm very excited I'm very excited the weather is still very nice i have actually took my pants off so look i'm in a bikini i'm very um worried though because I'm not used to being in places with kids like hotels wise so this bikini is a little bit like non-secure that's probably how I'd describe it no I wouldn't describe it as loose I'd describe it as non-secure and um, because it's not that loose it's just if I move a certain way things might pop out and that's not really as much of a problem in an Alessoni hotel but this in this one I'm a bit like so yeah I'm in a in my bikini I'm boiling but it's all good. Jack's got very invested in all of the ants that are down here. There's lots of them. Look at all of them. It's an ecosystem, I'm curious. You're curious about the ecosystem? He's watching them. I feel like, I don't know whether I should be offended that you're just watching them, not talking to me. Talking to you. I know, I do want water. I can't eat any of this pizza. 
until I've got a drink because my mouth is that dry and the water isn't coming very quickly so I'm, I'm being tortured Jack had to cover the pizza because I'm just staring at it oh my god I feel honoured to be in the presence of this pizza look at it oh my god that is so much cheese and it is absolutely delightful <laughs> okay, if we ignore these, this keeps happening with my bags <laughs> and my sunglasses. It's not cute. I've said it before, I look like the penguin out of happy feet. What? I, yeah, it's not cute. Anyway, I know you can barely see me. The I thought I'd show you quickly the pool because all of the majority of the kids have gone now. So this is where we've been all day, sitting at this lovely, lovely view. Uh, and there is the sea. So yeah. It's now like um, quarter plus six. We're not sure what we're doing yet, but currently we're still just sitting here chilling. Okay, we are back in the room. I'm on the balcony again because um, the lighting is just not good in there. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful room. Do not get me wrong, but the lighting for filming is not very good. So I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing. We've came up and gotten changed. I'm just wearing some uh, denim shorts with uh, I don't know what kind of style to call this, but I always see it's like a milkmaid kind of style with the poofy shoulders and then the just, I don't know, the ruched kind of material over the boobs. I am wearing this. I think the plan now is we are going to go and take some pictures and then go to dinner. I'm still feeling very, very tired, but I want to get some pictures, at least some today. Uh, and it's still light, so I think we're going to head down the beach. Yeah. With my camera, yes. Jack is wearing a cord, looking very, very cute. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave you here, I think, just because I think we're gonna have to take the big camera, so there's probably gonna be no room for this little camera. So, I will catch up with you later on. The lighting is not great again because it's like the concrete walls. We have been down at the beach and shot some photos with the big camera. If you aren't following the travel Instagram, do you want to go upstairs? Two flights up, isn't it? I'll just do this because my feet are wet. Um, go follow that if you want to see the pictures. I'll not put them up in case people aren't interested. But we got some nice ones, I think. So, we are now going to go for food. This is the first time we've been for tea. So, I've got high hopes. Breakfast was very, very nice. So, I'll try and get some footage of breakfast for you another day. It looks busy though from the beach because you can see the balcony where people can sit. But it's, it's past eight now, we were thought more kids. Yeah, were, kids, like, we're hoping out. people with kids will have been like earlier and it'll be a bit quieter now because we eat quite late anyway. So we're heading there now. I'll try and get some footage for you. Three, isn't it? Yes. No, two. But yeah, we've been shooting some stuff. My hair's starting to drop, so it's making me panic a bit for tomorrow. But yeah, we've shot some stuff and I'm, I'm happy with the stuff. So, yeah. I think the theme of this holiday is going to be bad lighting because it's beautiful lighting in person. And that tends to be the case when there's beautiful lighting in person. It's all the lighting on camera. So, apologies. We were in the restaurant. I'll show you. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is where we had breakfast this morning as well. So, food.
Okay, back in different bad lighting, but we are in the lounge. I can't remember what it's actually called. Can you? So it's gonna struggle even more with focusing with this light. So we came for a drink. I shall show you what we are looking at, uh, and there is the beautiful, beautiful bar. We've got some drinks. Jack has brought down the wine that we got complimentary to the room and I have ordered a strawberry lemonade which is a little bit different, I'm excited for it. We're just trying to figure out the posts for Instagram for graduation. You know it's very very serious, it's a very serious post. I'm doing three, which um, if anybody says it's overkill, I'll remind you, I waited two years for my graduation, I can have three feed posts. So that's what we're doing right now, let's try this lemonade. Do you want to try it? We're sitting and chilling, we've brought the cards down to play cards, but I think this is going to take a while because it's a very, like I said, very serious decision. So that's what we're doing right now. Good morning, everyone. It is now the next day. We have just woke up and we are about to head down for breakfast. I have chucked some clothes on. Uh, I've put my cardi on because I'm only wearing shorts and a tiny little top. Um, don't know why that was trying to focus on the wall. So I've put the cardio on just to give me some kind of warmth. Jack's wearing his linen top and then his green shorts. I'm feeling this. I think this looks really cute. Yeah. But yeah, we are heading down to breakfast now. I have no idea what time it is. Do you? After half ten. Okay, so we need to go. So we're going to go now. <laughs> down by the beach. I shall show you our views. We are sitting on these like, um, I don't know, they're kind of like settees, aren't they? Uh, we've just decided to come back down here because we've kind of like stuffed ourselves <laughs> with breakfast. So we're both very, very full. So we're gonna sit for a bit and then also give the opportunity for the room to be cleaned because we want to do that before we do the hotel tour video and I think we're going to do that today because there's no, we should probably go to reception actually and ask about tomorrow. There's no guarantee that we have a late checkout tomorrow because our flight isn't till 11. Yeah. It's like 11 or something so we have to leave here at like 9. So we've asked for late checkout and they said they were going to check for us to see if we could have it because obviously like there's more guests coming and everything but we haven't heard from them but they've said even if we don't have late checkout they'll give us like the use of the facilities for a day and they said they can give us a room for half an hour before we leave to like shower and things so we don't have the guarantee of the room tomorrow so we thought we'll do the room tour today so we're literally just gonna sit and wait for our food to go down because we are I don't know about you but I'm very very full like as in like feel like I can't move kind of full. So we're gonna enjoy the beautiful views. I don't think I've shown the hotel yet. That's it. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely stunning hotel. At the bar. And look at the beautiful views. Yeah, Jack's found a spot of shade. Cause Jack doesn't like the sun at all. So yeah, found, found shade. I'm in the sun. So we're both happy. Uh, back in the room, we have just chilled. Jack's had a coffee because he was tired. I've got changed because we are going to go take pictures of the hotel because the room hasn't been cleaned yet. So we don't want to do the hotel tour until it has been cleaned. So we're going to go take pictures of the hotel now. I've got my big camera out. We're going to get going. Are you ready? Let's go. We are, we took, we've done the tour video. I'm going to try and get in the shade a bit more so we can so you can find me. We have done the tour video, we did the tour and then the review, so you'll have already seen that, but we've just done it. We are now down, we got a bed at the adult's pool, which is very, very exciting. So this is our view today. We got one of the cute lying down beds. Um, see the hotel, I'll not show the pool because obviously people are in the pool. Uh, I'll show you now. There we go, right next to the one in the center. So. 
the plan is we're gonna sit and chill. We've just ordered a drink. Did you not want one, babe? I was gonna, I'm gonna have a look. You're gonna have a look at the menu. We're gonna sit and have a drink for a little bit. And then we are gonna go down the beach, I think, and take some pictures because it is a beautiful day today. It's so warm, isn't it? Feels warmer. Warmer than this, Yeah, so, and I might dip my feet into the sea. Mm. I might do it. I might. I wonder if this pool's warmer than the main one because it's smaller. You seem to be getting Yeah, we'll see. I'll see if I want to go in. But yeah, we're just gonna chill for a bit, take in the sun. We are back at the room. We took, went to the beach after we chilled at the pool for a bit and it was really, really cute. We took some really cute videos and we found out at the end of the beach there is a nudist beach because I started taking pictures. And I was like, Jack, that man's naked. Like I was like, that man at the end of the beach is, is properly naked. And then we realized that on all of the rocks near the end of the beach it had nudist written on them. So. There's a nudist beach at the end of the beach. Wish we'd known that for the A uh, review, but never mind. Would have bumped it up. No, we we didn't go to the nudist part, but we took some pictures on the beach. We took some really cute videos and stuff. I'll pop them in now because they are quite cute. So after we'd done those, we went and chilled at the pool for a bit and then went and took some pictures at the pool and now we're up to the room because I have no idea what happened but I got so hungry so quick, like as in like um, my, my stomach's in agony, I'm that hungry that quick so we have came up to change and we're going to head down to the pool and then I need to come back and shower because I have sand in a lot of air places that are uncomfortable. I wish it was appropriate for YouTube to show the sand in your You wish it was appropriate yeah, for YouTube just, to see the just so, sand in my butthole. So much. I don't know how I got it away from everywhere else but my butthole. So I need to go shower, but I'm so, so hungry. I, I don't have time to go shower and it's not uncomfortable. So yeah, I think, I know it's gonna be awful. I'm, I think I'm wearing the same thing I wore down at dinner last night, but I've added some earrings. I, because honestly, I just want to put clothes on and leave. So, I'm just waiting for Jack now to put some pants on so we can get going. Look at this pile of food. I know in the review, we, oh, is that happy baby? I know in the review, we said the food wasn't good. Uh, it's better tonight. <laughs> Jack's got way more as well. It is um, looking very, very good. I'm very hungry and I'm gonna have to tuck into this straight away. Oh, we're pulling a fortune cookie together. Hang on. Oh, 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 got two? Oh, must have known. Thank you. One of them is if you fail the plan, you can't fail. And if the, other, the other one is if you don't think about the future, you can't have one. Who's that? Who's is who? Well, you've got both your hand. No, one of them's yours. I don't know if I want any of them. We have finished tea and we have came for a wander down the beach. And there is this beautiful, beautiful sunset. Absolutely stunning. There are quite a few people down here taking pictures because it's very, very pretty. We are waiting to take a video because I don't want to get a child in it. Uh, so we're just waiting, but it's lovely to watch. It's still pretty warm, isn't it? Yeah. Cooler, it's but it's still pretty warm. We have ended up in the bar. I'm having a quick, speak, proper quick nap. everyone it is now the next day so we are on our final day we have had a phone call from the reception saying that, that we can have like checkout so that is very very good because we think what what time did we think nine o'clock we need to book a taxi we need to leave at roughly then because our flights at 11 jack's been sorting the flights i have no idea what time the flights are so 
11, it's 11.25. Right, okay, that's the flight time. So we are here pretty much all day still. Uh, we need to figure out meals and stuff though because obviously technically we are out like from this we'll morning. But we, because we have the late checkout, it is from half two. Did they say we can have it till half? Two. Till two. But because we came here very, very late on Sunday, we didn't have tea. We're going to ask and be, we're going to be cheeky and ask if we can have tea because we didn't get it. And also we got, we didn't realise we got a complimentary lunch one day. So we're thinking if we can ask if we can have that as well, because then we'll be fine for food. So we're heading down to breakfast now. I'm wearing the thing I've worn nearly every day. And so is Jack, the life of not paying for luggage. So we're gonna go now. We ha are back at the room. We have been packing. It, we, we sat for a little bit as well because we were just very, very full again. So it is quite pa half past 12. Apparently I can't tell the time. So we have been packing. We've packed our stuff away. We are going to do it in a way, so like we said, we've got till two, uh, but we think we're going to do it in a way now where, mm, I'm balancing on the balcony, we're just going to check out when we're ready. I think we're finished packing now, but we're going to wait for a little bit because the iPad needs more charge because that's what I use to watch stuff when we're on the plane, so that's going to charge for a bit, so I think... We're just gonna sit. We've got some change of clothes because we're gonna put Jack's bag in the luggage room and then keep my bag with us because it's got like, we've kind of done it in a way where Jack's bag's the clothes and thing, and the like, liquids and stuff like that. And then my bag is like my big camera, the vlogging camera, books, things like that, like things that we actually use. So we're gonna keep my bag with us because it's a backpack anyway. So it's not like the worst thing to carry about. But we've kept a change of clothes for pictures and stuff if we want to take any today. And then we have our airplane clothes at the top of Jack's bag. Because what's the time we get the room? Six or half six. Six or half six we get use of a room to shower and change and things like that. So we'll just get changed into the airport clothes then. So we're just going to wait for a little bit. And then what's the plan? I think we're going to go down to reception. Then take some more pictures of the hotel with like with me and the hotel and things like that and then pool beach yeah yeah, yeah. i think i want to go on the sea again okay. it was really really fun yesterday when we were taking pictures like going in and out of the sea and just messing about so yeah if you've got the tripod the right okay cool so we're just sitting for a bit and then heading down we have checked out it was a bit of a stressful experience so we got told that we had been taken I explained it in the review video but when we checked in we got told you had to pay 50 euros a night um, as like a deposit kind of thing and then it, all the charges that you have for drinks and stuff would be took off that and then you'd receive the difference back and then so we were checking out and it was a bit stressful she didn't know when we were checking out as well like she was like so are you leaving now and we were like no no we're in the hotel all day and then she told us how much we needed to pay for all of the drinks and stuff and she was like so do you want to pay by card and we were like but we thought it was just going to get given back from the deposit and she was like no you didn't you didn't do a deposit and we were like we, we did um so it's a bit stressful it's been sorted though we've paid it uh we just think that maybe the payment didn't actually go through for the deposit thing but we're hoping that it'll be an easy fix if we get back to the UK and then like both come through but we're also we've put Jack's luggage in the luggage room and now we have we found seats at the adults pool again which is very very nice there is some kind of construction work going on though which is a bit annoying but yeah we're just I think we're gonna have a few minutes to kind of not decompress is probably dramatic but like I just got a bit stressed about everything so we're just gonna chill for a little bit and then I think we're gonna go take some more pictures in the hotel and then maybe take some more pictures down here the beach round the pool and stuff 
So yeah, but I think we're just gonna chill for a little bit for now. It's not as warm as yesterday, but it's still very warm. It's very lovely. So yeah, looking forward to just lying for a bit. Right, could you go stand? Uh, can you go further left? Further up? Further left? Keep going up. Uh, left again? Yeah. Are you wanting to come down? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. <laughs> people are wanting to move forward. <laughs> Hi! Hey. We have just been and took some more pictures. You know what, everyone has been so lovely about it. I'm trying to be better with not worrying about what people are thinking when I'm taking photos and stuff. Cause like, even aside from like, YouTube and social media and stuff, like I am a photographer like through and through. I absolutely love taking pictures and I'm trying to get better at it. And everyone's been so lovely. Like everyone's just smiling at me when they see the tripod and the camera and stuff so it, I'm really pleased I'm really pleased that we went and did them as well because I think they're some of my favorite ones Jack has just been with some ice because it is so hot I think I was wrong I think it isn't I don't think it is cooler today cooler you, yeah it's yeah. warmer yeah and um, I've just got them out Jack's went and just got some ice so we can have some water and I think we're gonna chill a bit try and cool down what do you want to do now what do you think the plan should be yeah, I don't know how it would cool down though. Like, we'd go on the beach and go in the sea. Um, Do you want to cool down that way or? Maybe you see like a warm up this though. Exactly. <laughs> it's not going to be hot. The sea's not going to be hot. So. Yeah, there's just no shade there though for me. Yeah. We could just go in the pool. I haven't been in properly yet. We have came down for some lunch. It's like, what time is it? Half four, so 
lunch. Uh, we came and got seats down by the beach. It is a bit cloudy now, so it's a bit kind of, not as bright, but I think it's gonna stay cloudy. And it's a bit windy as well, so I hope you can hear me okay. But we were able to use the free lunch voucher, so we're um, feeling pretty happy about it. And we've gone for those pizzas again because so freaking good so we'll see i gotta meet one this time because me and jack aren't sharing so see see how they are but we've got a lovely lovely view don't we whilst we're sitting and waiting favorite views that way like look at those mountains absolutely beautiful i mean you're gonna head if we could we could see the nudist beach as well but um we'll just not look there this is this feels like this has been the only good lighting <laughs> for the entire trip and it's because it's cloudy we've came inside because it was a bit windy no like bad but for my hair bad and jack also has long hair so it was kind of just our hair was going everywhere so look at the pizza it's a bit intense uh, i missed the margarita but this still looks like it's got a lot of cheese but i might pick some of the meat off before i start because it's all it's a lot so yeah i'm gonna eat this entire pizza but this is still a lovely, lovely view. Um, it's just a bit more enclosed off. I just think all of the little spaces are all so beautiful. <laughs> Jack's currently doing his cheese ball. So it's still beautiful to um, sit here. We have just came back to the pool and it started to rain. I don't know if you guys can see the little specks on the pool. It's kind of like just spitting on. So we're gonna pack up there's a fly on your shirt. I thought it was a... Jack's just said he found a cockroach when he meant a woodlouse. It's got me on edge. Uh, we are packing up as if we need to go in case it gets heavier. But we're just going to stick under the brolly for a little bit and see how it is. And if it goes heavy, we'll probably have to go inside the hotel. We are in the room for the half an hour shower kind of thing. It looks like it's a disabled access bedroom and it's at the front of the hotel. So it's got this cute little domes thing that um, is at the front of the hotel, which is very cute, but I think it's the wheelchair accessible version of the room we were in. And it's got a really cool mirror. We didn't have this mirror. I'm a little bit good at but it's a very, very nice mirror. So yeah, we're gonna get changed for the plane and stuff like that, and then get going. So I'm on my phone because the battery for the camera is charging because it died, which I'm not, I'm not being funny, I'm impressed. It's last, lasted the pretty much the entire holiday. So we are sitting, we've just, just got our drinks. We are sitting with this view. We're sitting on the balcony that's kind of like along from the food place. So we're just sitting, waiting until we need to leave. The taxi's booked in for half eight. And it's, what time is it now? Everything I've got to check the time. What does that say? Five? No. Seven? Seven. Seven. So we've got an hour and a half to wait, but got some drinks. We're just heading off to reception, leaving this view. Another beautiful sunset. But yeah, I'm gonna head off to reception now to get my bag and then get ready to go for the taxi. Right, we are in the taxi now, going through the um, I'm gonna do this just so you can see my mouth. Going through the notorious roads of Corfu. They are what they like. They're like so hilly, but then like <laughs> like like what well, the what is it hair thin bins? Hair thin bins. And we're going in this massive taxi. And it's scary, so we're on our way. Like look at this. I'm, I'm vlogging. You're trapping. Shit. No swearing on the vlogs now. I won't get adverts. <laughs> we are at the airport. We. This is Corfu Airport for everybody who hasn't been. That's literally duty free. And then, literally, around the corner is 
passport control. It's not a very big airport. It's been done up since the last time we were here though, so we're impressed, aren't we? Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice. Yeah. It's very, very nice. We've got through very, very quickly though, so we're literally sitting here for about two hours. Um, I'm all very, very, I'm already very tired. <laughs> And then we have to get back and then we have to drive the car up to Northumberland, which takes three and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Yeah, we'll get home at like four in the morning. Oh my god. It's so ridiculous. Anyway, we are gonna, we've, we have got a headphone each. We're gonna watch TikToks. There's Straw Hat Goofy, my man. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go. We're gonna go and we're gonna watch TikToks. We're gonna go. Hello everyone. It is now quite a few days later, as you can probably tell by my lashes. Apparently, we've got a little man back. You can hear him crying. No. Apparently, I just didn't film the ending to this uh, vlog. So, I think the main reason was because... Sorry, I'm just picking up his button because he's just gonna keep pressing it. He hates me when I'm vlogging. I think the reason was because ugh, we were knackered and I, I know that's been a theme throughout this vlog. I've just finished editing it so I've seen what you guys have seen and I am so sorry for how tired I was throughout this entire thing. I was knackered. Like, I was knackered and I'm still, no, I was still, I'm still knackered. It's like, what day are we on? It's Tuesday today, so it's been like, what, five days and I am still freaking knackered. So we got on the plane, everything was fine. The, we got a little bit like, like for the last hour of the plane, me and Jack were just both a bit done. We were just like, we want the plane to land, we want to be at home, we're done. And then, so we got, we got in, I think it was one, I think it was 1 a.m. that we got in. And we got to the car fine. The car was fine. We we used one of the airport car parks and it was absolutely fine. We've used one of theirs before when we've flown from Manchester and they're all really, really good and really, really safe and we've never had any problems with them. We got to the car and the car had, oh, what was it? It was something like it had like 160 miles left and the journey was 190. So we had to charge it somewhere. So we decided we were going to stop at Weatherby because that's kind of like halfway between Manchester and home. So I drove the first stint till we got to Weatherby. We actually went and got a McDonald's as well because we were just so hungry because we ate that pizza at like four or something that I just said and then we had snacks on the plane but then it was like 1am and we still hadn't ate tea or anything so we stopped at a McDonald's had some food and then started the drive and by the by the time I got to Weatherby ah, 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 by the time we got to Weatherby I was so freaking tired like I definitely couldn't have drove anymore because I was so tired it was like unsafe so we stopped at Weatherby and we put the char the car on charge like half an hour because Weatherby's got one of those super fast chargers so it charged the car full for like in like an hour so we got like a good amount of charge we put it on Jack went in and got a coffee and I literally slept for like half an hour it got like we, we got to Weatherby and I was like oh I'll try and sleep for half an hour but I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep because like obviously there's loads of like lights because it's a car park and we have a, a sunroof so I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to get to sleep gone like I was asleep so I slept for like half an hour then we left and then Jack drove and then I kept like falling in and out of sleep we think we I slept for like 20 minutes half an hour again and then I felt really really bad for just leaving Jack because Jack didn't sleep in the car so he slept on the plane a little bit he probably got like an hour and I just felt really really bad for leaving him so yeah I woke up and tried to force myself to stay awake and we got back at the house at half six like it was a long freaking day, so I think I just forgot to vlog the next day because I was so, so tired. We woke up at like 11, so we had like a good amount of sleep, but for me, who needs like, I'm not even gonna say how much I need because people judge me for it, but I need a lot of sleep and I didn't get it, so I was still very, very tired and we just had a chill day, so yeah that's kind of it that is the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i am apologizing again for how tired i am in this video because i just sound so monotone and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy it please make sure to leave a like also please let me know which parts of it you enjoy because i don't know what kind of things to vlog on a holiday vlog and we're hoping to do a lot more we're hoping to do 
a lot more traveling and film them all and I never really know which aspects people like to see whether they like to see the lounging whether they like to see more time lapses whether they like to see especially because like I shoot content whether you guys like to see more of that I try to include a little clip of it in here but I don't know if people enjoy that so please comment and let me know the type of things you enjoy uh I have, we had a really, really great time. It was really, really fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, please subscribe if you are new. Like I said, trying to travel as much as possible. So you gotta subscribe to see the content. So yeah, that is gonna be it. Thank you again for watching. I shall hopefully see you in another one. Bye.